Once upon a time, on the island of Sodor, there was a train named Henry. Henry was a freight train, and he pulled all kinds of important materials around. But then one day, Sir Topham Hatt had an idea, and suddenly, Henry got longer, and longer, and longer. Henry got so long, when he rested, he started getting in people's way, and drivers got very angry with him. I'm late for work. What's the fucking hold-up train? <laughs> said the driver. A little old lady shouted to Henry, Get fucked! <laughs> A little girl crawled underneath Henry on her way to school. <laughs> that tickled, said Henry. I fucking hate you, train, said the little girl. A fire engine pleaded with him to move. I can't move, said Henry. I don't have any room. So they both just sat there and watched the children's hospital burn. But Henry was told he was much more efficient now, which is another way of saying profitable and nine miles long. He carried all sorts of things people needed, like medical bandages, corn, vinyl chloride, fireworks, a mysterious red substance, question mark, question mark, hand grenades, question mark, plugged in space heaters, and all sorts of zoo animals. What's liquefied natural gas? And why am I pulling 22 cars full of it? Henry asked. Never you mind, said Sir Topham Hatt. I mapped this whole route out at home. That's a weird thing to do, and I don't really know how to respond to it, said Henry. Just mind your business, like a good little rolling death machine, Sir Topham Hatt said. Sorry, I'm a what? asked Henry. Then one day, a wheel on one of Henry's tank cars started overheating. His engineer hadn't had a chance to inspect it in months. Henry was getting worried. It seems my caboose is loose. I can't drive with a loose caboose, Henry told the driver. But it was too late. Oh, shit, said Henry. Henry the freight engine became Henry the bomb train. Ah, oh, well, thought Henry. It could be worse. At least my tankers didn't explode. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the island... <laughs> oh dear, said Thomas. The explosion obliterated a significant part of the island of Sodor. Henry was so sad. Sir Topham had had blood on his hands, but he didn't care. It wasn't his blood, and he could just wipe it off with all his new money. As for Henry, he was taken out of commission and put in a tunnel. But as trains can't die, he just had to suffer forever and ever. But I think he deserved his punishment. Don't you?